Howdy. Give it up for James Frank, state representative who cares about our kids. You know, we're here for a singular purpose today, and that is to support educate their kids the way they see best. Parental empowerment is so important, we will not let a little rain dampen our spirits. We're going to show up, we're going to show out, and we're going to show the legislature exactly why it is so important that we empower parents to choose the education that's best for their child. Now, let, let me help both, both you as, as well as the, the legislature understand where I'm coming from. I am a strong supporter of public schools in the state of Texas. Listen, I, I went to public schools in Longview and Duncanville, Texas, and looking back, I would not have it any other way. I enjoyed my public school experience, and so many students enjoy that same public school experience. Also, some of our public schools are doing extraordinarily well. Texas ranks number one in the United States for the most blue ribbon schools of any state in America. We have one of the highest high school graduation rates in the United States of America. And our teachers are doing so well that uh, when you look at all the large states in the United States, uh, black students are performing number one in the United States on reading and math scores. We're doing a good job in our education program. As, as James Frank was talking about, listen, my commitment to public education has existed throughout my tenure as your governor. That's exactly why I have authorized more funding for public schools than any governor in the history of our great state. It's also why I authorized more teacher pay raises than any governor in the history of our great state. As we gather here on the, the wet steps of the Capitol grounds, per student funding in public education is at an all-time high in the state of Texas. And let me be clear about something. This session in this Capitol we're going to provide billions of dollars more for public education and increase teacher pay raises even more. Well, this is, as James Frank said, more money does not always lead to better results. And more money does not solve the problems that some parents are facing with regard to their children in some of their schools. I've heard so many stories across the state of Texas uh, about what's going on. In fact, one of the stories I heard was when I was talking to a teacher who had been an educator in public schools for years. She loved her education experience in public schools. She wanted to stay in public schools. But there was a straw that broke the camel's back that caused her to leave public schools and go to a private school. And that's when she saw a history teacher use his position of teaching history to teach kids to despise and disrespect the flag of the United States of America. Let me tell you something. We will not use your taxpayer dollars to teach our kids to hate the United States of America. I've also talked to parents who said, listen, they, they love their local public school, but the fact of the matter is their child had unique challenges. And the school district was unable to meet the unique challenges of their kid. And this mother said what almost every parent says. And that is, no one will fight for her children the way that she will. And that's why we need to empower parents to be able to fight for their kids to, to achieve the best result for their kids. But something else has happened. You know, it was probably going on before COVID. But we saw it most prolifically during the time of COVID and in the aftermath of COVID, we saw astonishingly what some of our children were being taught. It could be in urban districts. It could be in suburban districts. And I got to tell you, it exists in rural districts also. Our children are being taught a radical woke agenda. Listen, there's, there's no reason 
why any student should have a woke agenda pushed on them. Our schools are for education, not indoctrination. The solution to all of this, the solution to all of this is to empower parents to choose the school that's right for them, and that's what we will pass this legislative session here in Austin, Texas. Now listen, there, there, there's a, a lot of arguments against all this, but I gotta tell you, there are weaknesses in all of the arguments against this. The, the main argument, they say, well, if, if, if we pass school choice, it's going to defund public schools, and it's going to lead to an end of high school football in the state of Texas. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. It, it's a repeat of the same arguments that we heard when charter schools began in the state of Texas 25 years ago. That they said, well, charter schools will end public schools as we know it and end Friday night lights as we know it. Both of those arguments proved wrong about charter schools. Both of those arguments are wrong as it concerns school choice because not only are we not going to defund schools, as we have pointed out, we are actually adding more money to schools than ever before. So, so, so get this. Since I became your governor, the number of students attending charter schools have just about doubled. And despite the fact that those charter school students have doubled in number, we've added significantly more money for our public schools. And just like charter schools did not defund public schools, neither will school choice in the state of Texas. And let's be honest, is there anybody here who saw high school football this last year? It's doing great. High school football has never been better because my high school football team won the state championship this past year and things are going great in high school football. Listen, an another argument is, is that school choice doesn't really lead to better results. If you look at one study, perhaps, that's the case. But the fact of the matter is, in state after state after state, what we've seen is wherever school choice is used, public education improves. If, if, we, have, if we, we have a, a goal, which we should have, our collective goal here in the state of Texas is to make sure that all of our students are doing better. If we want all of our students to do better, and if we replicate in Texas what has been su uh, successfully achieved in other states, when we use school choice in Texas, the students who choose school choice will do better, but also the public schools they leave from will do better also. All of Texas students will be doing better with a robust school choice program in the state of Texas. So two things. One is, what is it that you need to do? What is it that you need to get your friends and family members and people back home to do? You need to understand that there are people, as we speak this moment right now, who get paid for a living to go inside this Capitol and, and to lobby legislators to keep the status quo. Do not employ school choice. Do not change the way things are because it will annihilate education as we know it. They get paid for doing that. They're paid to show up every single day. Some of them are getting paid with your taxpayer dollars, by the way. But you know, you know whose voice matters most? It's, it's, it's not these lobbyists who get paid. Your voice matters the most. That, that's, that's why we need you to show up, not just today, but show up every single day and make sure your voice is heard. Let me tell you the way this process works whether you're standing in the rain or inside the halls or of your own home. It takes five minutes of your time, and that's all, to change the world. You need to call your state representative, your state senator, and let them know you support school choice in the state of Texas. And listen, we, we know this is incredibly popular. Because if, if you lend your voice to it, you'll be with the majority of Texans. 
because if you're a Republican, of all three of those categories support school choice in the state of Texas. If you're black, if you're white, if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian American, large majorities of all of those four categories strongly support school choice in the state of Texas. If you live in an urban area, a suburban area, or a rural area of the state of Texas, Large majorities support school choice in the state of Texas. Make your voice heard. Last thing, as compelling as it is to empower parents to choose the education pathway that's best for their child, this is an enormous challenge that we have. Anytime you implement anything new, it's an effort. And we need to understand the magnitude of the challenge. Understand a little bit about facing challenges and overcoming challenges. Many of you know that when I was 26 years old, I was walking and standing just like everybody in front of me. But one day I went out for a jog. That day when I went out for a jog, a massive oak tree crash down onto my back, fractured my vertebrae and in my spinal cord, leaving me immediately and permanently paralyzed for the rest of my life. That's a challenge. I could have remained in bed. I could have sulked and stayed at home. I could have said, this is such an enormous challenge, I'm never going to be able to recover from it never going to be able to have a successful life. I could have been depressed. But instead, I said, I will not allow my life to be, to be determined by this challenge. Instead, my life will be determined by the way that I respond to this challenge. And it was after that accident that I went on to become the longest serving attorney general in the history of our state and now the governor of the great state of Texas. <laughs> what we all face in this state is one of the most enormous challenges of our time. We need to do a better job of educating our children. That's on all of us, not just me not just these legislators. It's on you and every Texan. And we are up to this challenge. We will beat this challenge. But the only way we'll do it, you need to know this very important fact. I cannot win this fight alone. I need you standing with me, fighting with me, on this challenge. And when you stand and fight with me, we are going to win. We're going to change the education in Texas, and the children will be the beneficiaries with a better education product in Texas, and the children will rise up because you are going to rise up and fight with me. God bless you all, and God bless the great state of Texas.